Hi everyone, um, in this video I will talk about our new Life Ray REST APIs. We actually call it APIO, it's A-P-I-O. Um, it's our new uh, REST APIs that we actually have it now to be included in Life Ray 7.1 and it's gonna come by default on Life Ray 7.2. I personally really like the new APIs because it actually make us really fit very well for any headless approach. So um, we have a lot of customers that they use LifeRay in a headless approach, especially with content. And uh, they had a lot of complaint with the old APIs. We actually solve all of these problems. Uh, the new APIs are pretty easy uh, to use. Um, they're actually um, auto-documented, so you don't need to create documentation to find the APIs you want. I'll actually talk in details about that during the demo. Um, they have a lot of easy vocabulary, so um, the words um, that we use for our APIs, it's meaningful, so you know exactly what API is doing, um, and that actually helps with the versioning as well, so in the future, if, you, if we release the new version of the APIs, you don't really need to change um, your headless code um, because we actually just changed the implementation, but we're going to keep the vocabulary as they are. So let's just jump in and uh, I always like in my demos to start from uh, the end result and then show you how I build this. So I'm going to show you first um, uh, a little bit. I built some content, um, expose it through the APIs and then consume it in a different side. And then we'll go after I show you the end result, we'll show you the APIs itself. So as you can see here, I have LifeRay 7.1 running and I have a, a piece of content and I want to just uh, do a quick introduction here for um, the content, the, um, the structure and the templates because I'm going to explain this in the APIs, how you can use them. So uh, in LifeRay, when you build a content, um, you have the option to build something called structure, which is structure is basically the fields that you um, uh, uh, want the user or the content creator to fill so that the template would take this field and uh, put the, the, the CSS and HTML on the top of it. So uh, for example, um, I have this piece of content on the front page. It's just uh, composed of title, text, and then an image. And I just add a very simple HTML to make this image next to the text. So the end user or the content creator doesn't really need to uh, do, do this HTML. And this is a very simple example. So basically here I create a structure and the structure I called it a, a title image text. And when you open that structure, you're going to see here it's actually um, three fields. So the article header, the image, and then the article text. So be, very easy structure. And then uh, after this, I build template for that structure. So I build three templates. I have the image to be on the top, image on the right, and image on the left. So I'm going to open uh, one of them to show you how it looks like. So you can see here it's um, basically uh, just an HTML code. And I'm getting the values that I got from the structure that the user fill. And I add it inside my HTML code so that it end up to show the image on the right or left on the top. Of course, this template, you can make it as fancy as you want. You can add more uh, CSS, JavaScript, um, uh, HTML5. So this is just a basic example. And the reason for doing this is just to show you the API is not the content creation. Right. So uh, this is how I uh, did this web content. So if I just edit this web content, you can see here um, this uh, piece of web content is actually um, uh, used the structure that I was telling you about. And then it actually used the image on the right. Uh, so you can see here is the image on the right as well. Um, the thing is, with the same content, you can swap between different um, uh, different uh, templates so you can see here the default is the image on the right that i have in the content but i can actually say i need the same content and i need to have the image on the left so doing this with exactly the same content i can actually swap uh, where this content can be all right let me reset this back okay so uh, I have this piece of content and on my machine here, I have two server running. So I have um, a one Tomcat server running for uh, Liferay, which is this one. And I have another Tomcat server running, which is um, just a 
a blank Tomcat and I just, on the other browser here, I edit the index.gsp uh, page and I use the new API to consume this content um, on, a, on a external site. So you can see here the IP is localhost 8080 on the other browser is 8082. So uh, whenever I refresh this browser, this content is actually coming from Liferay. So let's say, for example, I go to this piece of content, I need to edit it. So I'm going to just quickly edit it here. So I'm going to go down and just, let's say, I'm going to choose another image. Upload one from my desktop. All right, click Add, and now maybe edit some text. Uh, just going to make something, edit it, and that's it. All right, and click Publish. So this is how the new content looks like. So if I went to the other side and just hit refresh, you can see now I can actually view the new content on my site. And that's actually through the APIs. So this is the end result. Let's just dig in more on the API side and see how that works. So I have um, um, a REST client on my machine here to show you the APIs. And um, the nice thing I'm going to go through it here, I'm not going to go through any documentation or anything. I'm going to show you how this API are self-explanatory, so you don't need to um, to uh, read documentation to know how to use the APIs. So first, I'm going to start with the root API. So um, when you go to your uh, URL slash o slash API, um, and then you need to have the accept header to be JSON. So I'm going to use JSON. And then also, in this API, uh, you can have the result back at JSON, uh, XML. We're actually also working on more results. Uh, so I'm going to make it JSON here. And I'm going to make a basic authentication for now. So add the username and passwords. All right. And now going back to the header, click send. Uh, yeah, I guess I wrote the API wrong here. Let me send it again. Here you go. So um, you can see um, once I access the root APIs, it shows me what I can access here. So I have websites, user accounts, um, organizations. So I'm going to go to the website. And that would get me all the sites that I have inside Liferay. So doing this, it tells me that um, there is two sites. I have the global site and I have Liferay DXP. So let's say I want to access content from Liferay DXP site, which is that site. So that site is called Liferay DXP here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the self URL again, which is for the Liferay uh, DXP site. Send it. And now that would shows me um, more details about the site. So it shows me the name, uh, membership type, um, the, that's the URL for the site, the content space. Content space is basically giving me all the content of that site, uh, which is what I want to access now. So I'm just going to copy the content space URL. And inside the content space URL, it shows me all the type of content that I have. So there is vocabularies, blogs, uh, content structure, uh, forms, and so on. So um, I want to access the structured content. So I'm going to copy the structured content URL and add it on my header here. And here you can see it shows me that there is two content only. So if I open my website here, you can see I have only two content. So I have the first one, which is consumer content. And I have the second one, which is Liferay collaborate with Red Hat content. So I need to dig in more into this content. So I'm going to actually copy, sorry, the self URL of this content. So you can see here, it shows me all the details I want um, uh, this piece of content. So uh, I want to show you really amazing things we did in this one. And for someone who used the headless approach, especially with the old API, he would really appreciate what I will show here. The first thing is, once you access the content, it tells you, um, first, you have those are, those are the fields that you fill or the content creator fill uh, when they use the the template, which is image um, text image uh, templates. So you can see here the text, 
this is the text this is the image that they're using and this is the title but we we took a step for, a step farther and uh, we actually combined this field with the template that exists for this structure so you have the image for um, image on the right image on the top image on the left and basically um, I just have rendered or the HTML with the field uh, in a previous API you need to do this you get the fields from the content you go access the structure and then you combine both together uh, now you don't need to do this with one API's you get actually the HTML for all the content with different templates um, and that's actually what I used on my site here so um, on my side if I open the code so I have the index code here if I open that code here um, we're going to go in details on that code later in that demo, but you can see here um, the content that I actually sent. Um, I sent one of, so there is an array. Um, so you can see here on the API, I put all this um, uh, HTML in the array, and now I can access any of them anytime. So you can see now I'm accessing the first one. So I'm going to just access the second one, just click save and hit refresh. And you can see now I can just swap between the content template by accessing which HTML I need to render. So at one API, one call, I can get all the HTML for the old template, which is, um, I believe a lot of people who used um, a different headless approach, they would really ap uh, appreciate that point. Right, so uh, the other thing also, um, you can get more details on fields in LifeRay. So let's say um, you wanna get more details about the creator, so you have the URL, with the old APIs, you need to get that URL and then call it and get the details. But in LifeRay, with one call, you can get everything you need. So I'm gonna just add here embedded. So embedded equal creator. When I do that, send it. So you can see here, it shows me that the creator, this is all the information of the creator of this piece of content. I'm sorry. Here we go. Right, so this is all the information of the creator of this piece of content. All right, so let's come here, for example, and do one one thing else. Let's say I don't want to show all the fields. I want to show certain fields on my call just for better performance. So I'm going to do something called fields and then add here. Uh, I guess it's called structure content. Yes, it's uh, structured content. And then I'm going to say equal creator. So let's try that one. So doing this, it actually returned to me only the creator for this content. So I didn't, it didn't return everything else. Let's say I want to add details to that so I can combine this parameter with another parameter. It's called embedded equal creator so doing this uh, I guess I syntax oh I need to sorry this is ended so here it actually shows me that only the creator and the detail of it so it's pretty flexible to show everything you want here uh, let's take a step back here and uh, let's say I want to add content so um, I don't uh, I want to add a content through the API's so to do this is pretty easy so going back to uh, my structured contents I'm sorry let me go back to my site that will make it easier so I'm gonna go back to the life ray site so I have life ray DXP and then I have the structured content So inside the structure content, I have the two content I was talking about. So the consumer, consume uh, content and the other one that I was actually showing the detail on. Uh, the nice thing also I forgot to mention is the paginations. So let's say you have um, 2000 content and you wanna show all of them. Usually when you build your site, you have to build pagination as well. But in LifeRay, uh, the new API, the pagination is built for you. 
so you can just use the CRL for the pagination and Lifer will handle the pagination for you. Uh, you don't need to build it on your code. So this is another, another new feature that we added in Liferay. So let's say I want to add a new content and uh, to do this, it's uh, super simple because I don't need to know new vocabulary and new APIs. All I need to do is actually to swap between get to post. So do this a, a post request and inside the post request in the body, I can start adding the uh, new content that I want to add it to Liferay. So here I can actually come and uh, I can make my data to be JSON and I have the content here somewhere. So I'm just going to copy it. Right. So I'm going to copy this here. So you can see now I have the, the content. So basically what I'm doing now, I'm telling uh, Liferay that I will use the structure for the image text um, structure. And also um, I need to fill those fields. So I need to add a title, an image, and a text, right? So for the title, I'm just going to copy some title here. And then for the image, I have one already. And then for the text, I'm going to copy that text. All right. And for the content title itself, I can copy a different one. I can actually make both of them as the same. Let's do that. All right. So I have the values here. And I'm actually ready now to add this to Liferay. So I want to first verify there's no problem with the JSON format. Okay, looks good. So I'm going to just do send. And now that's got added to life race. So if I went here, just refresh the page. I have the new content got added here. So you can see here is the text. Here's the header. And here's the image. I can actually go on the image here. And you can see it's uh, the image is there um, that I actually added through the APIs. And I have the text, everything, and then the, the content is here that I can actually use it anywhere I want. Uh, you can actually do a preview and you can see how the content will look like. Right? So uh, that was easy. It's just the same API that I get the result with. I can use it with a post and um, was, do uh, was doing a post call, I can add in the body the content that I need to add. And this is just for everything in Liferay. So if I actually, sorry, here. So if I actually went back to the root APIs, and in my root API, I actually, let me make it get root APIs. And here I have the user accounts. So that would show me that there is only uh, one user um, in Liferay. So I have the test user. Uh, so if I want to add a new user, well, what I need to do is just make post and self get. And in the body, I can add the information that I need here. Let's copy this user information. Right. And now I need to do send. So if I went back to doing a get call on the header here, just you can see now there is two user got added in Liferay. So there is the old test user and there is a new one that I just added. It's called Fetty. So um, that's the new user I add. Um, I'm done here with uh, my APIs demo. Um, please leave your comments if you have any questions regarding that. All the codes for this demo uh, that I added to consume content outside of Liferay, uh, all of that code, I'm going to actually add it in links uh, below the video. So you can download it and try it by yourself and uh, let me know what you think about it. Thank you.